the Florida Gators look for a clean sweep over the Georgia Bulldogs here from Gainesville, Florida. So why not here in game three to try to go for the sweep? Elizabeth Hightower got together by Tony Baldwin. Only change that you see in that starting nine, Marissa Miller. Georgia yesterday losing their first ever SEC series of same lineup here in SEC play. Good night, lifts this in the air towards shortstop. And there's Wallace, the star of the weekend for in that seventh inning. And to face an incredibly tough portion. 1-0. Mosley cracks one in the air to left field. Kiss the ranges back. Look, see ya. It's 1-0 Georgia. Sarah Mosley just own. Hung in the air for a little bit, but absolutely a no, absolutely a no-brainer off the bat. 42nd career home run third today. We show, showed you in the open. The home run that she hit went over the Presley off the scoreboard. 3-2, pop sky high. Does this stay in the field of play? No. It scraped the netting. Did Longley make the catch? A little bit towards home plate to give Longley just enough space to make the catch. Or alley in right center. Fields, cue shot back to Hightower. We'll jog a little bit to first for the final out of the inning. So Hightower, he's in. This group has had three straight games of 10 or more hits. Skylar Wallace, an incredible series. ...to use as out pitches, but she will throw her change up at any count. So look out for that. I think she might be trying to get on a little bit differently today. Payoff pitch. Taken low and away. Wallace will sprint down there just in case. Take season crown. 1-1. Falby lines this to left field, pressed down for a hit. Wallace has to go station to station, holds up 60 feet away. We get called back. A toenail. <laughs> a toenail, yeah. Swing and a miss. So a big call on the out of the box that takes away a base hit and a fumble. On the doorstep of 50 RBI on the year. She's had, so payoff with one out. Skied in the air, left field. Chambly towards the line has got it. Wallace stays put at second. Balls from Kerpix just because she does throw her rise ball so much. In the past two days, she's... Gets away enough. Wallace down to third and standing up awkwardly. Well, she came. Runner at the doorstep, 2-1. High chopper, mostly snares it in. On to first in the Gators, Strand a runner at third. For the first time in the over 2,200 in the first two games. Yesterday was 2004. With a bunch of fans just waiting. Davis loops this on one hop to second over to Walsh for the first down. A lot of fans just wait. Lead October Saturday. And yet all I can think about is the traffic. Payoff. Ball four. What a battle from Sidney Kuma. It's now reached in seven straight games. On any given day, as long as you show up. And that's what the Gators have done. Final weekend against Mississippi State. Chambly swings through it, throw it down, is wide. Wallace able to pick it. At least get some glove on it to keep Kuma one out. Here it comes. Chambly rolls one softly up the middle. Glove side, Wallace throws, picked out by Gels. Nice play at first to get the out. That she made over the dugout. Line by Miller, base hit inside the left field line. That brings in a run. So Miller, first start of the weekend. Doing her job just enough to score that runner on third base. So two runs on two hits. A home run from in Athens. It was a, a packed crowd. If I remember correctly, it's been often in your tenure. As Armistead goes down on strikes, Hightower picks up the K, but not before. Her loss yesterday and how she performed the game one. Tony Baldwin still thinks she's on pace. Pinwheels the 3-1. Line softly into center, loops down for a hit. How about the series for Pal Egan has continued to cement her role in the... And I spoke a little bit about it yesterday, but her story is just so... 2-2. Two -two. Popped up. Foul of first. Awkward route to that ball for Fields, able to make the catch. Yesterday was one of those seesaw up and down type... Of Take strike three, lower inside corner. Kerbix is Sarah Longley. She walked yesterday, has been so poisoned the ball. 
Longley sends this sky high and foul ground along the left field line. Armistead near the netting makes the grab. How awesome is it to have a, an all-time great type of player in that dugout as Goodnight lays down a bunt. Nice play by Eccles, but the throw is just late. We'll see another look at it. Throw is not in time. Kendra Falby single to left. Goodnight pops this bunt up, and instead of a leadoff base runner, it's a out for Dallas Goodnight. Adder's gonna bunt. I am throwing a rise ball to try to get them to pop out. Here. Defensively. Yeah, that's a great person to have. Mosley's just been a tough out all weekend. We'll work a walk here on a full count. Kearney on Corks on one to center. Does she have another? Foby back. You bet another home run. These Georgia Bulldogs are just getting ball and getting her barrel behind it to hit it dead center. Kenja Falby just couldn't get enough air to get it was just a little bit too far, but. Here's Jaden Fields. Launches this to left. And this one is off the base of the wall. Kistler took a hard tumble into the wall. And Fields thinking about three. Missing a home run. Hits the bottom of the fence and hits. Lindy Ray Davis yanks this to second. Will move the runner over. There's now two outs. Fields down to third. Productive at. Right. Tennessee comes up. Comes into today. Three ahead in the line. You're fighting. To win Kuma that spot for. Goes down on strikes and Hightower picks up the strikeout, but Georgia continues to use. Gels yesterday, the hero. 3 2. Swing and a miss. Kerpix wins the battle, picks up what is her now third strikeout in this start. If you're able to control your mind and just stay in the moment and take every pitch. Eight triples. Takes ball four, second time that she will get on via walk. And did we mention that she also leads? This will be a big test for their mouth here on this Sunday. Runner takes off, another flare and a foul ground caught by Chambly. Wallace has to backtrack all the way. Wallace takes off, Miller throws down, the tag is not there. Armistead. Like Eccles doesn't have to try to do too much. 3-1. Eccles lifts this in the air to center. That should do it. Good night with the shades on. Has the grab, and the inning is over. Yard from Mosley and Kearney. Here's Sidney Chamley. Cues one on two hops to Hightower. Well, underhand to first. One pitch, one out. Ellison lines that sharply to third. Got a good swing in, but right to Eccles at the hot corner. That's still topic of conversation till this day from our team. Two strikes to Reagan Walsh. Clocks the line drive. Fair ball inside the left field line towards the corner. Reagan Walsh legs her way to second. Throw is cut off, and Reagan had. Yeah, but to your point, I do remember every single detail. And Coach Wall was thrown out of that. Jamming righties with her rise ball and screw. 1 1 to Egan. Top it over to second. Should move the runner over. Akuma has got it. That's the first out of the inning. Little pop up towards third and a 15 pitch battle ends in a pop up to third. Just done her job and after 15 pitches, continue to. Wilkie sends this in the air to second. Kuma's got it and Walsh had a leadoff double, fails to bloom, stranded six sterling innings in relief yesterday en route to the win and we'll see what Riley's. Right after, right before the pandemic started. Able to switch it up and move up and down in the zone. And gets a ground ball of Dallas. Good night. That goes over to first for the opening out. Just out to left field. It's her 14th of the year. Rolls one on to short. Wallace bobbles, regathers, gets the out. We're going to be successful, and that is what Jada Kearney is. Now fifth. Outfield again towards the right side. Outside corner, strike three. Kearney goes down looking. Trilicek picks up where she left off. 
And a leadoff double from Reagan Walsh in the bottom of the fourth. She was stranded at third. Five pitch walk. Ball for the game. There's Avery Gells. Lobs one in the air, left field. First pitch hack. Chambly's got it. Chases back longly for the first out. Here is coming to the plate and a runner on base. It'll be a 3 1. Well off the plate, five pitch walk. Second of the inning. Now the Gator. Helen try to butt down first base. She'd be safe, anyways. 2 2. Swing and a miss. Falby goes down on strikes. And now will be up to Charlotte. Tony Baldwin going to the bullpen. 4-8 ERA. This is her 31st appearance. As on every base. 1-2. Lifted on the line to right field. Drops in for a hit. Longley will score. Wallace around third. And Walsh comes through with two strikes and two. Back and poking it to right field. Can't get to it. Drops right in front of the right fielder and able to score some Gator. And I feel like sometimes when you have that protection behind you, you don't win bases. Line in the center. Does this stay up? It does. For Dallas, Goodnight makes the catch with the Gators. Get on the board and get oh so. Friday went four in a fifth inning. Kind of the same scenario. Fields tumbles one to short. Tough play. Off the hands of Wallace, we'll see how they score that. It was hit very hard. The combination with Riley Trilicek. Cued off the end of the bat. Trilicek throws it low and wide. This will go off the right field sidewall. Davis will head into second. And Kuma doesn't have a hit today, but still run in the series. Just loop to Walsh for the first out. It's a big one. Runners stay put at second and third. In 75 fielding group, that's 31st nationally. Usually, Tim Brown ball outs are ready. 2-2. Two -two. Cued to third, runner takes off, throw comes home. They got her in a rundown. Eaton was off of third, and now they have her in a pickle. Trilicek going for the tag, third and second, and everybody's gonna be safe. Enfield is in, they just wanna take away. Line to left center field, base hit. That'll bring in Eaton. Stopping at second is Goodwin, and Miller has her second. Head of Skyler to left center field, able to score one run. Two back in the bottom of the fifth. Armistead unloads on a ball to center field. Falby goes back, it's off the wall. This might clear the bases. One run, Ellie Armistead, who blows this game wide open at 7-2. Falby just not able to grab it. Actually hits the, Armistead's able to score two runs and put the game, put, giving her a chance to shine. Good night, going 0 for 3. They're always gonna want more. Right now, five run cushion. Mosley pokes one down the line and it is a fair ball. Went up against the chalk and Mosley. Look at this, I think this landed on the chalk. Mosley, line drive into center, and that should do it. Well, inches away from making it a nine, she's able to get two gigantic runs, make it three ball. Is underway across the street, Condren Family Ballpark, update on that. Road chops one on two, ops to Armistead at short, long throw is there in time. Although, was hit. Graham, no hitter. Wilkie pops it up on 3-1. And that's Miller with the catch. Gators just a three hit day after two day for Marissa Miller and her lone start of the weekend. Longley on Corks on one to right, has some carry back to the wall in Kearney. Sweet. Georgia. But, a, but even after that, the Georgia Bulldogs did have a series against Arkansas. Does Kearney have another? You bet. Oh, that's crushed. Could be a seventh inning dagger. Kearney's 17th of the season and her second of the day. Kearney breaking it open and showing what they can do with the long ball today. Career best. 
17th home run leader in home runs. A two. Fields digs this out to right center. Egan in front of the warning track. It almost looks to me like. Bounce to the right side. Gales bobbles. Does she get there? Looks like she did just in time to get Dave bought. And then the lineup will turn over. Wallace and Falby. 9-1 and Hoist one towards center. Falby's got it, and the Gators will be down to their final three outs on the other side. Two strike, two run single from Reagan Walsh in the bottom of the fifth as Gels swats this to left field for the opening out. Big way, and started second batter of the game when Sarah Mosley homered off of a, a little timing for her. Wallace whacks one underneath the glove of Armistead. Should be a hit for Skyler Wallace. Kendra Falby without a hit on the day still has so Falby lays one down, stays fair. The throw is well late. So the combination of Wallace and Falby get on. And if you're Georgia, you don't necessarily take a deep breath until you get that. Box. Eccles pounds one on two hops. Armistead for one on the first, and that is the ball game. Georgia takes game three, two at KSP. Really good job by the Georgia Bulldogs today to come back and secure this game three. Joe Cassio, I'm Kyle Crook saying so long and good day from Gainesville.